Physical abuse is any intentional act causing injury or trauma to another person or animal by way of bodily contact. In most cases, children are the victims of physical abuse, but adults can also be victims, as in cases of domestic violence or workplace aggression. Alternative terms sometimes used include physical assault or physical violence, and may also include sexual abuse. Physical abuse may involve more than one abuser, and more than one victim. Topic. Forms Physical abuse means any non-accidental act or behavior causing injury, trauma, or other physical suffering or bodily harm. Abusive acts toward children can often result from parents' attempts at child discipline through excessive corporal punishment. Topic. Causes A number of causes of physical abuse against children have been identified, the most common of which, according to Mash and Wolf, being Many abusive and neglectful parents have had little exposure to positive parental models and supports. There is often a greater degree of stress in the family environment. Information processing disturbances may cause maltreating parents to misperceive or mislabel their child's behavior, which leads to inappropriate responses. There is often a lack of awareness or understanding of developmentally appropriate expectations. Topic. Effects Physically abused children are at risk for later interpersonal problems involving aggressive behavior, and adolescents are at a much greater risk for substance abuse. In addition, symptoms of depression, emotional distress, and suicidal ideation are also common features of people who have been physically abused. Studies have also shown that children with a history of physical abuse may meet DSM-IVTR criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD. As many as one-third of children who experience physical abuse are also at risk to become abusive as adults researchers have pointed to other potential psychobiological effects of child physical abuse on parenting, when abused children become adults. These recent findings may, at least in part, be carried forward by epigenetic changes that impact the regulation of stress physiology. Many other potentially important consequences of childhood physical abuse on adolescent and adult physical and mental health and development have been documented via the Adverse Childhood Experiences ACE studies. Topic. Treatment Seeking treatment is unlikely for a majority of people that are physically abused, and the ones who are seeking treatment are usually under some form of legal constraint. The prevention and treatment options for physically abused children include, enhancing positive experiences early in the development of the parent-child relationship, as well as changing how parents teach, discipline, and attend to their children. Evidence-based interventions include cognitive behavioral therapy CBT, as well as video feedback interventions and child-parent psychodynamic psychotherapy, all of which specifically target anger patterns and distorted beliefs, and offer training and or reflection, support, and modeling that focuses on parenting skills and expectations, as well as increasing empathy for the child by supporting the parents taking the child's perspective. These forms of treatment may include training in social competence and management of daily demands in an effort to decrease parental stress, which is a known risk factor for physical abuse. Although these treatment and prevention strategies are to help children and parents of children who have been abused, some of these methods can also be applied to adults who have physically abused. Other animals Physical abuse has been described among Adelie penguins in Antarctica equals equals forms